Hey everybody, I'm going to get back on here, we're going to go over some rapture dreams, some visions. I also want to let everybody know I'm not a prophet, and I'm going to tell you like I always do, open the Bible, read it yourself. Make sure that you go through the scriptures, figure things out for yourself so people cannot run things on you and tell you things that are not true. Jessica Johnson re uh, wrote in and she said, thanks for the channel. It's a blessing for me. And I especially love hearing dreams from other brothers and sisters. I have a dream to share with you. I, uh, I'll get straight to the point. Uh, I had a hard childhood and even a harder adulthood, but God, this uh, caused me to really, really struggle to trust Jesus, accept his grace. Living a fear of falling out of uh, favor with Jesus kept me uh, in chains for a very long time. He gave me a dream on the subject that I will never forget in real life. I used to work for, a de uh, the, for the Department of Corrections at a large state prison in my dream. In my dream, I dreamt that I was there, uh, was in the very prison in which I worked, but for the time as a in but this time as an inmate rather than an officer. I knew I had committed a crime, though the dream didn't specifically tell me what the crime was. But I knew I was guilty, and I was in prison awaiting trial. I knew I had, uh, had the death penalty, and I can't begin to tell you how frightening this dream was for me. It occurred to me that although I was awaiting trial, it would be quick, and I would have the death penalty in the very imminent future. The full weight of that sunk in, and I began to panic. I knew I, was on, I only had hours to live. In real life, I have children and a husband, and I was trying to think of how the world and I was going to look, how I was going to look my children in, how I was going to look at my children in the eye and tell them that their mommy was facing the death penalty and would be gone for, the, uh, for their lives here on earth. I kept imagining their faces, and my heart was broken, and I had, uh, had no words to say. I thought of how I would kiss my husband for the last time and try to be brave, but I knew I wouldn't be brave. I was falling to pieces. Then suddenly, the dream changed, and I was no longer in prison, but standing in my mother's kitchen. My uncle, who represented Jesus in the dream, because the name uh, literally means high priest, was standing beside me with his arms around my shoulder and his free hand, he held some paperwork. The paperwork was familiar looking court uh, subpoena. It was very thick. In layman's terms, a subpoena that is thick means that there will be lots of charges being brought against you. But, uh, but, very, uh, but at the very bottom of the front was a signature in red. I knew that it was the blood, and it was signed by Jesus in his own blood. He smiled at me sweetly, and in the dream, my uncle, who was pre presenting Jesus, was also my lawyer. He showed me that the signature, he said, don't worry, Jesse, I know the judge. And I was excited. I couldn't contain myself. I said, you mean I, have, I don't have to die at all? And he smiled so big and hugged me. And I knew that I had truly committed the crimes I was accused of and was seriously about to face the death penalty, but Jesus signed the subpoena in his own blood. For those who are familiar with subpoenas, the person being accused signs their names to the area that Jesus signed on the document. He took responsibility for my crimes and then even reassured me he had the whole thing on lock because he knows the judge. I woke up after that uh, in a flood of tears. Somebody like me that has been through what I have been through in life, it was a difficult time grasping that Jesus really does love me too. I hope this dream blesses you like it did me. I'm sure it blesses a lot of people, Jessica. Because a lot of people, when you're saved, the, these people tell you that everything you do, you're, going, you're not going to heaven. And that's not the truth. That's Satan. If you truly work for God and you're truly saved, you're sealed. He's took all that away. Your past, your present, and future sins, they're all, but it's like, well, that gives you a license to sin. Trust me, if you're saved, you don't want to sin. You might fall, you just repent, you come back, but you do not go back to the life you had. If you did, you was never saved. 
And if anybody says that, they was never saved. You never had faith in Jesus. The people who have faith in Jesus can't live without him. I'm sorry. That's why I said, when you're sealed, you're sealed. If you don't want to work for Jesus and get to know him, you're not saved. You have to want to know him and be with him. So that right there, that dream tells it all. Thank you, Jessica, because that was definitely God talking to her about, hey, I've got this. Uh, Sonia uh, Stanboro, I don't know if I'm saying your last name right. Sonia sends me a lot of stuff, and I appreciate it, Sonia. She, uh, I remember I was asking about everybody hearing about a knock on their door. And Sonia wrote me and said, oh, my God, I don't think about about this until you brought it up. But knocking uh, door happened uh, a few times, started happening about two weeks ago, about the time all of our started. Not only from the front door, but windows as well. My bedroom uh, window sound isn't something uh, usual knocking. Sounds like something th someone threw something at the door. I lived uh, here almost three years and it never happened before. When I heard the knock, I looked outside and then I asked myself, someone must be brave enough to knock on my door. I've got a fence around the house and a German Shepherd guard dog with security system. I have a German Shepherd. I emailed uh, to you a few days ago. I saw a double rainbow twice this year. Not in my dream a few days ago. And I've, I've noticed a lot of people seeing double rainbows. I asked the Lord to show me something that I'm not crazy because my family members didn't take me seriously, nor believe the rapture is about to happen soon. And trust me, Noah told everybody it was going to flood, and they still didn't get on the boat. The next day, early morning, I saw uh, excelled up so clearly in my dream. As soon as I saw, I woke up right away. It was short time. I never dreamed rapture like some other people who was listening to your Jesus channel. So sometimes it crosses my mind, maybe I am not his. No, I've not. Ha I, a lot of these people have big rapture dreams. I've only saw like a minute of one. Well, I hope this email is hopeful to you as concerned what you do think. I please take, uh, I didn't take seriously until you brought it up. Well, like I said, a lot of people have been hearing the knocks on you. A lot of people. I mean, it's. You wouldn't believe the response we've had about people knocking on the doors. Uh, Carol Thompson always writes in, and I thank you, Carol. She said, Hi, Chris. My son and I did a Bible prophecy together. He was born 31077. Our address, the number seven, followed him. He, uh, he is in heaven waiting for me to join him. He was so uh, invisible, it was crazy like me. And I, I told her, I, you know, she's probably going through a hard time with that. So we appreciate you sending in your stuff, Carol. Carol's always her dot. There's so many of you that send stuff in that I appreciate. Now, remember, people, I'm just me, and I am also a part-time nurse. So I do not, I mean, it takes a lot for me to get on here and do this stuff because I've got, I take, I'm doing everything myself, everything. From the emails to this, you name it, I do it all by myself. Michelle James wrote in and said, Hey, Chris, I was watching your video this morning. Glad you liked the dream I had. Uh, we have awesome God you mentioned. If anyone was broke, uh, was woken by a knock on the door, uh, this, you, uh, this used to happen a lot, or dogs barking as soon as waking the house is still and, is still and quiet. I'll tell you what God told me about this in a minute. First night was on December 28th. I was dreaming of my family in a building which seemed to be in a warehouse. We were very busy. The building was full of sorts of broken things and surrounded us with very, uh, was, surrounded us was very, I don't know, you could think of, and then I was awakened by a knock and I sat up and looked at my phone. In the habit of checking the time, because God speaks to me sometimes with the, with the time, I lay quietly but unsure. It uh, came from the bedroom door or my window. I heard nothing. It was see, I heard nothing. It was quiet, and then began to I began to pray. First thing I do. This might not be for everyone, but I got into conversation with God. Was that you, God? Do you need to talk to me? 
and then I praise him. I also rebuke the enemy to let him know my space is uh, sanctified space. Uh, he has no place being here. I'll elevate the time by going to Strong's. I do that too, Michelle. And see if it lines up with my dream. Uh, this works for me in my routine. And I did... The, and I did. The Holy Spirit years ago told me sometimes it is uh, sometimes the print's a little bit little and I can't hardly see it. See I'm clenching you to fellowship with him. There is a lot of reasons why he does this at night but I'll let you research that. I also know that the enemy is jealous of God's divine love towards me, and it's possible he causes disturbance too. I truly want God, I don't know what God is doing, but the Holy Spirit is gracious in assisting you with the truth. Chris, maybe he is wanting you to communicate with you and your people who have ex experienced this. I don't uh, believe in its family. My husband has been with Jesus four years ago. I may dream of him, but God is not the author of confusion. If he says he is absent from the body, he is present with the Lord. The rest of your sure family members are not on uh, on earth knocking on doors. They are with God, praying and interceding on your behalf and fulfill what God's plan. No, I agree with you, Michelle. I know it's not our loved ones, but I'm just saying, It's I thought it was just basically God telling us to wake up. That's what I was getting at. Let's see. Let's see what else we got here. Trudy wrote in. Hi, I read that you uh, started the YouTube's uh, your YouTube site in 2015. I also have been led to a Watchman channels on YouTube since October 2022. My journey. Uh, with Jesus full-time began in 2014. I was baptized when I was 15 years old and did not have a Christian home to live in. I was attending church with my uncle and his family as a teenager. I was like a lukewarm Christian till my daddy passed into the heaven until 2014. I then cried out to God to know more about heaven and have a closer walk with him. He started by showing me I could see in the heaven realm and take pictures and share them. My first was seeing a picture of Jesus in a rainbow. Here is the rainbow dream I had in October. I have four older inside cats and older the oldest has health issues. So I walk him with the cat harness due to the spent time outdoors when he was younger. The dream starts that I was at the front door opening into a field of green grass where all four cats have gotten outside and I'm running to catch up and the oldest and calling for the adult son to help me to catch them. I hear my son asking me, where am I? And I tell him outside to come help with the cats. He showed up and he goes after his beloved cat. I then catch up to the older one and start to pick him up, and I hear a very kind but strong voice behind me say, Trudy, calm down. Then I turn to see Jesus. He gives me see, Jesus, he, uh, he gives me a hug and says, We are all home now, and then I wake up. I like uh, the format how you read the emails about the rapture dreams today. I come across the one about pets going up, with us in the rapture and how our past pets are waiting on us. I truly believe this also. I know it for a fact. God bless your ministry for sharing. God has confirmed that to me over and over and over. So I have no doubt your pets will be raptured. That's why I don't worry about it or stress about it. And I know they're there. Too many people seen it. Uh, she also wrote in, let's see, good evening and good morning. It is 12.13 a.m. in Louisiana. Love Louisiana. I'd love to come down there and visit. That's a beautiful place. Hopefully one day when God has everything, I can go down and visit when we get our heavenly bodies because we're going to come down here for a thousand years. I just got done with listening to you talk about the door knocks, and I'm so glad to hear of that happening to others. See, here's another one. Heard the door knocks. 
I have been hearing door knocks in the daytime for much of the month of December. Every one of us, December. That's why I put that out. I knew it was. I knew everybody else was hearing it too. When it's just me uh, and my kittens at home, I am usually in my kitchen or bedroom when I hear it. There is no one outside. I can see or uh, I can see or there's no car in the driveway. Uh, a few weeks ago, the Holy Spirit had me to look up into the sky across from where I was parked to take a picture. It shows a huge rabbit. A rabbit represents a has, uh, hastening or quick move. I believe it was another sign for me to share. I have been sharing with co-workers and Christian family members I've visited over the holidays. I hope you get to share all this information. See you soon in heaven where I would give you a big hug. Your sister in Christ, Louisiana Trudy. We love you, Trudy. Thank you for writing in to us. And we appreciate all you do. Everybody that writes in, we appreciate all of them. We try to get to them. I've had some people on here. Uh, I know one asked me for some the different things about maybe posting where some people needed money. We cannot post that into the YouTube or anything like that. Uh, there was a there's a fellow man that's on YouTube. He's a watcher. He's going through some financial problems, but we we can't put anything. YouTube will not allow that. You can't do anything like that. If he uh, and I've went on his channel, he's not really had anything on there about raising money, and I, I don't feel comfortable doing that. People are in such a hard mess right now, and everybody needs help, to be honest with you. Everybody needs help, but when it comes to the Internet, I don't feel comfortable with that because I don't know these people. I've never seen them, and so we're not going to be doing anything like that. If you have like a GoFundMe page, you can put that out in the comments. Or if somebody starts a guy, I don't know how to do that stuff. I don't fool with it. If you, I know, have some people have asked me about it, and I, there's just, I don't know nothing about it or how to do it. I've never done anything like that. Uh, so if you do anything like that, yeah, you can post it in the comments, and we'll talk about it, and I'll lead people to it. I can do that. But uh, besides getting involved with it, like any other way, I don't have the time. There's just no way. I, I barely have time to do these videos. Barely. I mean, I just don't have the time. I've got to run this place. I have two businesses that are still in a mess that we're trying to work things out, and I've got lawyers that I'm dealing with, too, on top of that. There's just no way. I barely have time to move, literally. I am that busy. I might eventually have to start up an email just for this and have somebody to help me with it because there's just no way. I don't have the time. I try to make the time, but I'm just one person. I just, you know, and God had me to be one person. That's what he wanted me to do. He wanted me to come here and wait on him. So I am just a one-man show trying to do everything. But I love everybody, and I'll try to help anybody that I can. That's what I do. I've always done that. So if I can do anything, I will do it. But if you have something, you're trying to raise money for somebody, as long as it's legit, and you're, you're a family member, that's fine. You can post it down, and we'll, we'll talk about it, and I'll try to lead people to it. That's all I can do. But God bless everybody. Like I said, I'm not a prophet, and I will tell everybody on this channel, if you want to be part of the family, I tell everybody, read the Bible for yourself. Don't let people tell you what's in the Bible, because half of them, it's garbage. The rapture's real, so don't worry about anything else. I promise you, he's coming. He told me on October 24th to let everybody know I'm coming, and I'm going to get back to the basics. That's what I'm on here to do, to tell you to tell people the same thing I'm telling you. You do it in your Facebook. You do it on YouTube. You get on your videos. You get on your phones, and you tell people. When you go out in the public, tell everybody, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Be ready. We don't have much more time. That's our job. That's what we're supposed to do. If you don't see me again, I'll see you in heaven.